Today I want to talk to you about courting candles. And back in the day, it's kind of a Victorian thing or in, and before, um, young men used to court young ladies. And when a man or a boy <laughs> had his eye on a girl, he would come to her house to spend time with her and get to know her. And Papa would be waiting in the wings to watch and he would come in with a candle and he would put the candle, we're going to pretend this is a big taper candle. Papa would light a candle and say, when this candle burns down to this first rung, the courting is over. So the young couple got to spend time together, getting to know each other, watching the candle burn down and burn down and burn down. And when it got to this first rung, the courting was over and Papa would come in and if the young man seemed to be a suitable match for his daughter, maybe good husband material, um, he would take this lever on the courting candle and he would turn the candle so he would raise the candle and there was more courting time available and they would again uh, be able to spend time together until it burned down to the first rung there. So that's the uh, the meaning of the courting candle and you've seen these everywhere. I mean you can find these in thrift stores, in junk stores, in garage sales, in craft stores, they're everywhere. And I have a few of them and I really only pay about three dollars, three to four dollars for them. And they actually would work very well in your love spells. Now let me clarify what I think a, a love spell is first of all. I do not believe a love spell is I want Antonio Banderas to fall in love with me forever. Although that I would mind. But anyway, you wouldn't do that. That to me is a hex or a bewitchment. And um, what I think a um, love spell would be, would be if this person has feelings for me but maybe is intimidated or afraid of rejection, please allow him to act on his feelings. So it's actually more of an empowerment spell than like oh, almost a curse, you know, you're going to fall in love with me whether you like it or not. So, um, and we know that's bad karma. So anyway, that's what I believe in a love spell. So you can use this for a love spell, anything matters of the heart. You can also use this if you take the lever out here, <laughs> or an elevator if you want to call it that, uh, and use it as a seven day candle because you got the rungs here. You can have your candle burn down to each rung and it could be a seven day candle as well. So there are really many, many uh, uses for a courting candle. And again, the, the actual candle holder here is very inexpensive. You can find them anywhere. So, I thought I'd give you this little tip. And if you already use the courting candle, please, I would love to hear what you do with it. And if you try it, let me know how it works out. Thanks a lot. Talk to you soon. Bye.